Tyler and Billy are way down there at that end of the apartment complex is just blowing everything off. But the world's gonna end today, so it really doesn't matter anyway. On all seriousness, today is Strawberry Apricot Red Bull Monday. <coughs> mm, go for me. <coughs> Today's the eclipse. Some people apparently think that they said apocalypse. Because everyone's storming out to buy everything up. But um, usually we mow these later in the day. Um, this is usually our last one we do on Mondays. But so there's no way we're going to get everything done today. Um, Monday is mostly all just commercial stuff anyway. So I wanted to get the apartments done. This is the furthest one away from my shop on Mondays. So I wanted to get this done. And we're going to go do the Lewiston Apartments after this. And then we're going to hit like the sleep center, the trooper barracks, the fire hall, all that stuff. If I think the only thing, usually we're done by like 4.30, 5 o'clock on Mondays. So last Monday, there was a few things we didn't have to mow. So we are done by like 3.30. Um, so, but I promised Ira I would be home by like 2. Because she wants to go watch the Eclipse happen it's supposed to happen like around 322 or something like that and it's supposed to get like pitch black is like sun moves in front of the moon or moon in front of the, i don't know whatever i'm not a science nerd i don't know but anyway they're having a big event at the winery the one we always go to and they have a band and stuff like that so i promised her i'd be home in time that we could go make that so um yeah, so if we have a couple, we got to throw onto tomorrow. It's no big deal, uh, and they'll be close. But they're saying thousands upon thousands of people are already traveling up this way to see this eclipse. It happened the last time it happened was 21, 22 years ago, something like that. So I don't know, whatever. But uh, they say the streets are going to be gridlocked or something, which I'm sure it's going to be pretty crazy. I told her, go, we ain't, we ain't even taking the truck. It's going to be like 60, 65 degrees or something today. I said, we're taking the bike. So I said, I'll come home. We'll both jump on the bike and we'll take that. And besides, we'll be able to find somewhere to park anyway. But anyway, all right, boys are coming back. We are going to uh, go do some more mowing. I'll try to record you guys some stuff today. See what happens. So this yard every year, she way over fertilized it. And first cut of the year is a good eight, nine inches tall. So I cut it right down to two and three quarter. And then just have Billy following behind me with the walker, bagging it up. Um, he already went over it once, but then I took everything that was left all over the sidewalk and I blew it into the yard. So he's just buzzing over it again real quick. And we can dump everything back there in the woods so we don't take nothing with us. Last year it got so bad, we mowed the whole thing. We actually windstormed the entire yard this way and then all the way down. Same thing with the other side of the house, the whole back. It windstormed it all back there. But the day we came here to do it, of course, it was windy, so it was not fun.
All right, so any of you have been following me for a number of years, knows this lawn. There used to be a ton of trees here. They cut them all down in late fall. And then they built a huge patio. That's like a swimming jacuzzi. It's a jacuzzi, but also pool you swimming. Here comes Billy and Tyler there down the street. But then some point at the end of Fox, we're doing cleanups. They built these stairs all the way down, put these rocks here. They got an airline going all the way down. They put in a set of stairs here going down to, uh, they're building a dock down there. Definitely cool, but I've had this house for years. Any of you guys remember, any of you guys know, Hold on, phone ringing. And you guys know, um, I had it for years. I got rid of it, and then they were unhappy with the people that took it over. So then they called me and begged me to take it back, and I did. And then two years later, they sold it to another guy. Um, and I've been with them ever since. And they have probably been mowing this nine years, eight, nine years. And uh, the new guy, he don't even live here. lives over there in Canada. Um, but he's loaded, and he's putting tons of money in this place. It's a lot of it's a lot of fun. It's easy to go up and down the hill now. We used to have to mow it sideways, but it's easy now. 